For this Entertainment Answer, I'm Matt Mungle. Your show. So happy to be here. Joined uh, Robert Conrad. I am Mike Carey. This is CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com, broadcasting coast to coast and around the world, available on Amazon Echo, TuneIn Radio, Stritcher, Sprecher, Roku, all that. All God that, bless you, brother. All that good, good no stuff. No coup to you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Uh, but thank you once again so much for joining us. I'm joined by the absolute legend, the acting legend. Oh, gosh, please. Uh, we're going to do it again, right? Okay. He's a singer. Yeah, he's an actor. Yes. He's a director. Yes. He's a producer. That's right. He's a writer. Right. He's a member of the Stuntman Hall of Fame. Right. He's a CIF championship winning football coach. Right. He's a pilot. Right. Father. Right. Grandfather. Right. Great grandfather. Former fighter. Former boxer. Boxer, right. The Duke of 63rd Street. Oh, thank you. James West. James West. He is the legend. He's, and, but most of all, he's a very, very nice man thank you i'm a legend in my own mind <laughs> i wouldn't go i'd say that you're a legend in a lot of people's minds and all those people out there are our friends and our family on facebook uh, on the line uh, giving us a call 818-818-6401 shooting us some c-mails we love the c-mails we really appreciate it. the real robert conrad at crntalk.com the real robert conrad at crntalk.com and speaking of here's one from our friend frank and frank says <clears throat> Robert, I have called in the past, but not recently. I just wanted you to know that when I was a kid, I never missed an episode of The Wild Wild West. I am a big fan of all of your work. I watch Centennial several times a year. I think that our show, he calls it our show, is great. Keep up the good work. This, there is only one Robert Conrad. You're the best. God bless. P.S. We live in Florida, but my son John plays college basketball in California, and he loves it out there. Oh, that's very interesting. So that's from Frank. Hey, Frank, thank you, thank you. Tell your son I'm happy he's happy out here. Yes, yeah, so send us a note where, uh, where he plays, Frank. Uh, I'm a big actual college basketball fan, and I wouldn't mind checking out some of his games. And so there you go. Uh, also, this is from Pervy, from Pervy Shaw, P-U-R-V-I Shaw. Pervy, how are you, Pervy? <laughs> Hi, I just wanted to say I loved the High Mountain Rangers as a child, I am st and I'm also still in love with your son, Shane. So. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> we'll bring him here. I'll have him uh, as a guest one uh, of these uh, nights. What do you think? I, that, I'd very much enjoy that. I think that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's really a nice looking kid, too. I mean, not a kid. He's uh, middle age. He's 45 years old. That's still a kid as far as I'm concerned. Well, as far as I'm concerned, forget it. What do you mean? You're not. Come on. No, I'm getting there. You're trying to put. Don't do that. <laughs> You called me out on it. Like I said, you guys, we're having a good time. Looks like Lisa just popped up in the chat room. We have Ray, also all the way from Japan. Bruce Laney. We have Donna. Donna's coming up next on the phone. Val, Darren, you guys, keep joining us here at Facebook.com slash CRN Talk. Also, give us a call, 818-818-6401, especially on those first-time callers. 818-6401. Absolutely That's right. That's right. And we want to hear from our first-timers, you guys, as well. So stick around. Back in one hot minute with your show.
We are the debt destroyer. Any debt you have, credit card, tax, student loan debt. Call now to get our free report that tells you how to destroy your debt. It's a great resource. Plus, when you make this free call right now, we'll have a debt destroyer expert ready to help you. They can show you how they can help you destroy your debt and get your life back on track. Debt problems don't have to be overwhelming. You can live stress-free and debt-free. Credit cards, medical bills, IRS tax problems, even student loan debt. Learn about free programs offered by the credit card companies, hospitals, and even the government that can help you slash your debt. Call right now for free information, including our Debt Destroyer Guide, a $300 value, yours free. Call right now. 800-515-6348. 800-515-6348. That's 800-515-6348. Perdóname, yo no puedo enamorarme de ti. Mercy, mercy me. We are back. Your show, you guys. CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com. I'm Mike Gary. Robert Conrad in Espanol playing us in. This is one of my, all of them are my favorites, but this one is one of my favorites. Good. I'm glad you like it. Love it. Love it. They don't make it like they used to anymore, you guys. Join us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash CRN Talk, Facebook.com slash CRN Talk. And before we get to Donna, uh, Darren's got a quick question. He wants to know, uh, Uncle Bob, what are some of your favorite TV shows and movies? Now? Now. Uh, I don't watch TV too much uh, currently. Yeah. Because um, I'm in a new home and, you know, I'm, I'm adjusting. You got a lot that. to do. Yeah, well, I'm adjusting to that. Yeah. But. Uh, what was the rest of the question? Any favorite movies? My favorite movies? Yeah, I like movies. Any movies that uh, is entertaining uh, in specifics, I, I love. Mm-hmm. But I can't think of anything recently that I've seen that I could recommend to anybody. You know it was on over the weekend? The Godfather. Was oh, on. well, that's different. That's a classic. You know, you can't even put that in the group. Any thoughts or recollections on the first time you saw The Godfather? Uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to share on the air? <laughs> well, no, I was uh, a young guy on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> and so, it, you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> more so. of a documentary than an yeah, actual... <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm um, going, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, man, it's just so, uh, you know, my favorite part of The Godfather, and I'm sorry if I'm, you know, t- cutting into our show, but I, my favorite part of The Godfather is when Robert Duvall's character comes out to Hollywood to meet Wurtz. And he goes to that biggest stage to try to get Johnny Fontaine that part in the movie. And just uh, there's something about that, you know, that soundtrack, them, them in the studios, running around in the studios, that house, which I believe was a, a Hearthstone house. It's just uh, every time I watch that part. Yeah, I know. I agree with you. Just love that part. Yeah. Yeah. And you know who else we love? We love Donna from Boston. And Donna from Boston's on the line. Donna, how are you? Donna, thanks for Is hanging. there a reason why you brought up the Godfather before my call? No, no. <laughs> hey, darling, <laughs> thanks for hanging on so long. Oh, Robert, I'm just so glad you could read my writing. My goodness. I I'm just was trying to explain the bottle is half empty because my mom passed away in 97, and God knows how long she had that before she passed away. Okay. But my favorite part is leave the gun, take the cannoli. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> oh, you. The best one. Shame oh, on you. I think my phone beeped. Hold on, let me get the other one. Yeah. I'm going to probably lose you. I can't huh? believe it. If that, you know the reason why I sent that. I know you're making jokes about yourself. Wait a minute. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, we have you. We have okay. You. Um, when that woman called and said, um, you should go to Lord's. And I remembered I had the water. So, um, and I'm sorry you had so many nice voice callers before me, and now it makes me feel awful because somebody posted in um, YouTube when they were watching your show, listening to um, 
I forget the woman's name from New Hampshire. She was Brian's friend, Marilyn. She, he said listening to Marilyn was like taking a nice warm bath, and then when Dawn had gone on, it was like getting, jumping in a cold shower. <laughs> and it was like, and I'm only a layman or whatever you call it. I'm not not famous person. I can't imagine how you people feel when you read nasty things about yourselves and these stupid rags. <laughs> No, I don't. You know, when that happens, and it happens every day, it happens frequently, I, I say, que sera, sera, sera. Right. What will like be, Like you will say, say la vie, right? Yeah, right, exactly. But you, you know, know what? It, I can't help the voice God gave me, or the part I was born in, what part of the world I was born in. I think your voice is beautiful, Donna. <laughs> Well, Donna, you want to hear my Ethel Merman? <laughs> no, thank you, darling. I, I don't want to hear it. You know, so oh, do it God. for Mike, but I, Uncle Bob doesn't want to hear it. All right, did you get to hear yourself sing on the um, Your Kiss is Still a Kiss there? Did you get to hear it from Mike's, um, on the, uh, I sent it to his Facebook. When you were in Hawaii and I, did you get to see Oh, that yeah, I, di I did pull that. Uh, I haven't uh, played it for Bob yet, but what I'm going to oh, okay. do is I'm going to use that as a bumper for next week's show. Oh, your kiss awesome. is, your kiss I can't is wait what? I hear it. A kiss is still a kiss, you know. Oh, my gosh. From As time goes by, whatever. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. From <laughs> way back then, huh? <laughs> you think it's funny, oh, don't you? God. Oh, God. I love right. you, and I hope the holy water helps, and don't burn your fingers when you finish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Th thanks. Thanks for thanks for. Uh, it. Oh, I don't know good. if you're looking at your. Are you looking at TV right now? Yep, I'm looking at you. All right. I want to show you something. Okay. Yeah. Guess what? What? There it is. Holy water! Holy <laughs> water! Holy water! <laughs> well, it's from Lords, so it's got to help. That woman wanted you to go to Lords, so if you can't bring the mountain to Muhammad, you bring. Well, you know, I you gotta bring nothing. Muhammad to the mountain. You gotta bring the mountain to Muhammad. I hope nothing happens to me for nothing, nothing, okay. not from me. Better not. You can <clears throat> All right, baby. Don't drink and you don't <laughs> drink and you have somebody bless your forehead three times. Say the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Help this man. Help him call his friend in Boston all the time. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> all right, love you guys. Take care. All have right. a great weekend. All right, you have a nice weekend, girl. All right, there she goes, Donna from Boston. Donna from Boston always puts a smile on my face whenever we talk to her. We love Donna from Boston. Let's get one more in before we go to the break. What we have next, we have, oh, this is, he's my boy. We have R.G. from Pennsylvania up on Turtle Creek. Or R.G., how are you? R.G. Hey, I'm okay. I guess I'm about a seven. How are you doing, Pappy? You about a seven or eight? Uh, yeah, I'm a seven. Let's see, we're together today. Good. I wanted to know if um, I sent you a picture of a Corsair that said Marines on there, and I sent you a couple of pictures of you, and I wanted you to keep one and send one back. Did you get the one sent back? Uh, it's probably still on the front. We'll take care of that after the show. Okay, yeah. Okay, and uh, by the way, uh, you know how they make holy water. What? How do you make holy water? How the hell do I yeah. know? They, 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 they boil the hell out of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm a Catholic. I don't know how to make that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, my. So how you been, Pappy? All right? Uh, yeah, well, not all, all right. I was on a, uh, on a you know, up, down, <laughs> up, down, all around. Yeah. One day I couldn't walk. The next day I could take little steps. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and now I'm walking. Uh, and I'm well, that's walking. good. Well, I didn't walk uh, into the studio. I had to take oh. a wheelchair, but uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, well, that's good. That's like Clarice. She has uh, good days and bad days since she had that heart attack. Um, you know, she has to take pills for AFib. If you know what that is, that's when your heart beats more than it should. I know. I know. Um, I know. And then the other one is restless leg syndrome. I never heard of it before until now. But we're getting by. We're going to have 47 years pretty soon in August. Wow. 47 and, uh, years. Wow. Yeah. And, oh, and, and I, I didn't have money. She, she thought I was good looking. She chased me. <laughs> oh, good for her. <laughs> RG, thank you so much for going to a break, buddy. But best to you and best to Clarice. We'll, we'll talk see you in soon. August. Okay. Okay. It's so long, buddy. There he goes. RG. The best to RG. <laughs> to Clarice. He's the a best. Great guy. He's a good man. He is. We'll be right back, you guys. Stay with us. Your show. Robert Conrad and I'm Mike Gary.
Hi, everybody. Michael Horn from CRNTalk.com. You know, we provide you with the best in talk radio, eight channels of talk radio, from radio on the left, radio on the right, sports talk, business talk, religious talk, Spanish talk, you name it, we've got talk radio for you, all at CRNTalk.com. Well, now we'll bring you video as well as audio. That's right. Watch your favorite shows like the Robert Conrad Show, the Fred Dreyer Program, What's Cooking Today, What's Cooking on Wine, The Lounge, and so many other shows in video right at our website, crntalk.com. You can also watch us on Roku. Just search CRN Talk, and you can watch us on Roku on any TV anywhere in the world. Also on Facebook Live. Go to facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Roku, search CRN Talk. Check us out on Tiki Live and at crntalk.com. Video for you talk fans, all from CRN Talk. Hi, everyone. This is Fred Dreyer telling you about my favorite Italian restaurant. It's Angelo's and Vinci's in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's has the best pasta, the best seafood, the best salad, spaghetti, lasagna, and the most incredible pizza. And the chicken is delicious. Marsala, piccata, cacciatore, parmigiana, and more. For desserts, try our spumoni or our tiramisu, my favorite, flown in fresh from Italy. And the cannolis and the zeppolis are out of this world. Open for lunch and dinner. And don't miss the Sunday champagne brunch. Just $23.95. Are you kidding me? It's all up the road from Disneyland at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's, like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Call 714-879-4022 or visit us online at angeloandvinci's.com. For the getaway of your dreams, come to Hawaii's playground, Kaanapali Beach Resort, on the fun side of Maui, where the world comes to play. Find your spot on Kaanapali Beach with three miles of white sand, 12 resort properties, two golf courses, and two shopping centers. Enjoy the playground of Hawaii's ancient royalty. Kaanapali Beach Resort is Hawaii's original master planned destination resort and home of the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. With views of two neighboring islands, you can breathe in the land's natural beauty from your favorite resort or golf fairway. Come experience Kaanapali's own special brand of Hawaiian hospitality with world-class dining, relaxing resorts, water sports, and activities of every kind. For romantic, family, and great friend getaways, discover the options of Kaanapali Beach Resort, where the world comes to play. Plan your getaway today. Visit kaanapaliresort.com. That's K-A-A-N-A-P-A-L-I resort.com. We are back, you guys. Your show, CRN Digital Talk Radio. I promise, as many Robert Conrad songs as I can put in, I put in. So this is your show, CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com. You don't mind punishing me, do you, with some of this old stuff? Is it? Is it? I mean, you know, it's what's? It's up to you. I mean, no, I can no, pull I don't, them with I, I don't care. It's, I think they're beautiful. Good, thank you. I mean, they're fantastic. And I understand you have some correspondence you'd like to read, sir. Oh yeah, I did. You know, I've got I'm trying to clear the desk a little bit, which I won't. <laughs> But anyway, here, dear Mr. Conrad, thank you so much uh, for kindly sending me an autographed picture. I really appreciate it. I enjoy watching Wild West uh, uh, so much. Uh, those were great shows when you made them, and they all still are great today. Uh, best wishes. Uh, uh, Stan, uh, I think the last name is Farley, but I know the first name Stan. Hey, Stan, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that correspondence. Thank That's you. very, very nice from Stan. And this is a really good question from Paul. Uh, hey, Bob, how did the selection of directors work? Just curious about does his directorship occurred on shows like Black Sheep Squadron. So when you're doing the Wild Wild West and you're doing the Black Sheep Squadron, you know, how did, how did they decide who was going to direct a particular episode? Well, you know, the, the directors, <clears throat> please excuse me, the directors have a talent uh, and they have an agent mm -hmm. and the agent would come and 
you know, say, hey, have you used uh, Robert Conrad for such and such? And the guy would go, Robert Conrad? And he said, yeah, he just finished this, and that's how it's done. Yeah. So they, it's not like CBS had a pool of directors that you can only work with. You no. You can get them from anywhere. No, you get them from anywhere. One of these days, I want to sit down and talk to you about TV packaging, because that's still a, a thing that I, I don't understand, but that's something for off the air. Yeah, we can talk about it, because I have something interesting coming up about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's another tease, you guys. So yeah, right, right. You appreciate right. that. So see, uh, give us a call, 818-818-6401, and it's time for... <clears throat> it's time for the, my weekly voice lesson. Are we rolling in the back? We got the reel to reel running. The reel to reels running. We're triple recorded, triple redundancy because we got John the Voice. John the Voice, let it rip. Hey Bob. Hey Mike. How y'all doing? Hey John. Uh, how you been, brother? I, I'm better now, Bob. I missed you guys. Well, good. I mean, I missed you guys too. I was out for a couple of weeks. Well, I hope you're feeling better. I am feeling better. I'm a seven, but I was down there, you know, in the uh, it's bizarre to be up there in a house that's up way up in the mountains and with the view of the ocean and uh, the rain comes and oh, it was a challenge. It was really well, a challenge. I'm glad you're here today. Thank you, but Bob. Tomorrow is the 60th anniversary of that Sea Hunt episode that you were in water ski show. Oh my gosh! No kidding. <laughs> Thanks for and, reminding me. Oh, sh you're welcome. Now. As I recall, your first acting job was when you were only 12 years old. Mm, yeah, okay, but it wasn't uh, wasn't professional. It was at the no, no, it was at the student level. And you played the trumpet back then too. I did, and I played it well too. I'd be very candid about it. I was a good trumpet player. And from the ages of 19 to 22, you were in a group called Bob Conrad and the Paris Trio. Oh, yeah. Now, that, I was thinking about them today driving here to do the show. That was great. Those guys were so talented, and they were all students, and they became, uh, they graduated from student to graduate student, so on and so forth. And they were terrific, and I was uh, glad to be a part of them. And um, I was. I was incorporated in the group. There was the trio and me on the side. You guys played in such places like the Edgewater Beach Hotel, El Monaco. Right on. Now, your other interests back then, of course, were boxing and football. You were the middle linebacker, and you set the private school scoring record as a running back. And uh, you also liked to watch ballet. And uh, you considered boxing as a career, but you left boxing and focused on singing. And your favorite actors back in the day were guys like Spencer Tracy, Marlon Brando, John Garfield, Jimmy Cagney, and James Dean. Yeah, right. John Garfield was probably uh, my first choice. Now, uh, fast forward a little bit. Hecht Hill and Lancaster flew you out to Hollywood to have you in a picture called Run Silent, Run Deep with... Burt Lancaster and Clark Gable, but it never happened. For some reason, it didn't happen. And what you got was a free ride and a lot of publicity. Your introduction into Hollywood was strange. You were there for three days and three nights and stayed at the Hollywood Hotel, and you said, this isn't for me. I'm going to go to New York, and I'm going to do theater. So you went to New York. You were in New York from the 2nd of June until the 17th of August. You just spent the summer there. Winter was coming, and winters in New York get cold, and you decided if you're going to be in the acting business and out of work, you might as well go back to Hollywood would at least they have a warmer climate. You got that totally right. That's what happened, and that's what I did. Bob, thanks for your friendship. Thanks for taking my call. God bless you all. I love you like a brother. Hey, I love you like a brother, and thank you for bringing all that back into my life. That was fantastic. Thank you, John The Voice. Stick around, guys. Be right back. Right after the break. Do you believe that? All that stuff he knows? You order a glass of your favorite Cabernet. Fresh asparagus. Hollandaise on the side. A filet. Medium rare. You unfurl your napkin with a flare. Close your eyes and prepare to listen. Ah, oh, there it is. The sweet music you long to hear. The sizzle. The sizzle of a Roots Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef. Broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. 
Make a reservation online at rootschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. We are the debt destroyer. Any debt you have, credit card, tax, student loan debt. Call now to get our free report that tells you how to destroy your debt. It's a great resource. Plus, when you make this free call right now, we'll have a debt destroyer expert ready to help you. They can show you how they can help you destroy your debt and get your life back on track. Debt problems don't have to be overwhelming. You can live stress-free and debt-free. Credit cards, medical bills, IRS tax problems, even student loan debt. Learn about free programs offered by the credit card companies, hospitals, and even the government that can help you slash your debt. Call right now for free information, including our Debt Destroyer Guide, a $300 value, yours free. Call right now. 800-515-6348. 800-515-6348. That's 800-515-6348. For the getaway of your dreams, come to Hawaii's playground, Kaanapali Beach Resort, on the fun side of Maui, where the world comes to play. Find your spot on Kaanapali Beach with three miles of white sand, 12 resort properties, two golf courses, and two shopping centers. Enjoy the playground of Hawaii's ancient royalty. Kaanapali Beach Resort is Hawaii's original master planned destination resort and home of the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. With views of two neighboring islands, you can breathe in the land's natural beauty from your favorite resort or golf fairway. Come experience Kaanapali's own special brand of Hawaiian hospitality with world-class dining, relaxing resorts, water sports, and activities of every kind. For romantic, family, and great friend getaways, discover the options of Kaanapali Beach Resort, where the world comes to play. Plan your getaway today. Visit kaanapaliresort.com. That's K-A-A-N-A-P-A-L-I resort.com. Do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call MyFlightSearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call MyFlightSearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. Got my fingers wrapped round a high ball glass, and there's no way that I'm letting go. And we are back. That is the dulcet tones again, Chelsea Conrad. And her father over here going, oh my God, every time, what happened? Now, every time you get this wistful look in your eyes, only a father can have. Oh, please, God. Okay, whatever. Well, if you do go out to visit her in New York City, I believe New York City is a very nice place to meet women. To meet women? Yeah. That was my daughter. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah that's... Nice idea. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, it's been about seven years. Seven years. Seven year itch, huh? I don't know how many it's, <laughs> it's kind of phasing out. Uh, all, right. all right, go for it. You got some correspondence you'd like to read? <laughs> yeah, you ready? Yeah. Dear Robert, I continue to pray for you in hopes that you will feel better soon. Please keep up your therapy so you will be strong again and become more independent everyone wants that for you yay love anita and this says praying that you will feel better soon 
Lots of love, Anita. And that's the card, and it's pretty. It's very, very nice. See? From Anita. Anita from Wisconsin. Your honey bunny. Is she my honey bunny? Oh. Man. Well, she's from Wisconsin. That's close to Chicago. That's right. Oh, yeah. And I'm going back to Chicago this summer. Oh, there you go. That's right. So Chicago might be a good place to meet women. You're telling me? <laughs> It's where I grew up. I know, I know. The man needs no education on those uh, no, I, affairs I, of the heart. I know a little bit about the, yeah. my hometown. Not your first rodeo there. No, no. Not your first deep dish no, pizza. Not, not your first hot tea sandwich. Not the first time I pulled up to pick her up and the two brothers were standing in front waiting for me to pick her up. And I went, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> More correspondence, sir? Yeah. Ready? Dear Robert, hope you're feeling well. Missed you last week. May God bless you and send you health, strength, and happiness. Love, Laura. And she's from uh, Ridge, Chicumba, California. Oh, nice. You know where Chicumba? I do not. I'll look that up, though. Yeah, you will? I will, yeah. I'll look it up because I don't know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get back I, to I just live here. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a big place, you guys. Uh, yeah. Let's get back to the phones. Let's see who we have next on the line. We have Ray, our friend Ray from Rhode Island, locked in. Ray, buddy, how you doing? Well, good. How are you guys doing? We're doing good, Ray. What's up? Good. I was going to call and ask you the first uh, question I had was, Hawaii and I, why isn't that on um, DVD? Oh I'm hell! I, to see it. I, I don't know. Hawaiian Eye is an antique. It's I mean. I, I would, know, but it, it should be on DVD to really get it. I don't know. I was a boy when we made that. You know, I have no idea what happened to it. I know because I was, anyway, I also heard your daughter, daughter singing again, and that voice is beautiful. There's only one lady that I could really enjoy like her. I hate to mention, but Doris Day. She passed on a few weeks ago. Yeah. But that voice is beautiful. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know what it is. It hurts me to hear it because I know where it could have gone. It could have, she could have been a best-selling artist, but it didn't happen. And you know, so now we listen to records she made a couple of years ago. Well, it's great, it's unbelievable. It really is. Well, thank but the you. thing is, the thing about Dallas, I'm just a nobody from Rhode Island, not a nobody. But I had a dance with her one time. And I, I, I wanted to tell her so many things. I shut my mouth. I couldn't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was a wonderful t t time to do that. That was in 1993. Okay. I got it. That voice, in 1940s voice with the big bands, that's what your daughter sounds like. They're wonderful. Yeah, they are. You got you know? that. You got of course that you right. are, too, with your singing. Well, thanks. Yeah. And you got to make that CD. I hope you, we're going to be working on that, right? Yeah, for sure. We'll do that. I'm going to do the album, and I'm going to do the book, and all of that's in the future. It's I don't even have the piano in the house yet, so. All right, but thank God, I want to hear that CD. Okay, <laughs> okay. you'll hear it, man. All right, take it easy. Okay, thanks for the call. All right, there he goes, Ray from Rhode Island. And just following up on Ray's question about Hawaiian Eye, it was released on DVD, but it is out of print. It is available on eBay and Etsy and uh, other used uh, uh, DVD outliers. But also, uh, it's available on Warner Archive Instant, which is a Warner Brothers streaming service. So you can go ahead and Google uh, Hawaiian Eye Warner Archive Instant. Can I do this one? Okay, thank you very much. This is the last one we're doing today. All right? Cool. All right. Dear Robert, I've missed you these past two weeks and have prayed for you every day. May God bless you with good health, strength, and happiness. With all my love, Laura, and she's the girl from Jacumba, California, That's right? very nice. Right, and, and then all of a sudden it says... May each day bring you the strength you need to get through and the reassurance that some things will always be true and uh, like how much you're cared about right now and always. Oh, that's very, very nice. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's beautiful. A quick uh, Facebook message from our friend Lisa in Utah. Lisa says, uh, Robert, please, re uh, Mike, please reiterate to Robert how much we've missed him and the show. That also extends to you. Thank you. Glad you are both uh, well and looking so handsome. That's from Lisa in Utah. Ooh, good. Now, is he handsome with that hairy face and uh, 
all of that. Yeah, our Facebook people uh, let us know. Chime in on that. Yeah, okay. when you can you send us a, a card or a note on that for next week's show and to say he's handsome even with that hairy face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And Jean, Jean wants to know, Jean's lovely, we met her at the event uh, last November. Jean wants to know, hey, Robert Conrad, can we have a slumber party? Jean's a woman, by the way. She better be. You, know. <laughs> you can see my eyes kind of cross. Uh, can we have a, how old is she? Uh, doesn't say in her Facebook profile, but she's quite attractive. She is, huh? Yes. She is, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll put that aside for you. Uh, you guys, stick, you will. I will stick stick, stick around, you guys. This is uh, probably blush number ten, but we're having a good time, you guys. Thank you for everybody in the chat room. Thank you for everybody giving us a call. Give us a call. 818-818-6401. That's 818-818-6401. Absolutely. Facebook.com slash CRN Talk. CRN Talk dot com. Be right back. Enrolls you in recurring automated text messages. Message and data rates may apply. Hi, I'm Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. After I left baseball, I just couldn't stay in shape like I used to. Turns out, once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone, and that can make it harder to get into shape. So I got back into the game with Nugenix. I'm feeling stronger with a lot more energy and drive. You want to get back into shape? Get Nugenix. All you have to do is send one simple text. Frank's right. Just text FORCE to 321321 to get a complimentary bottle of award-winning Nugenix, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Its unique man-boosting formula is powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to help a man feel stronger, leaner, more energetic, and more passionate. And guys, she'll like the difference too. Nugenic samples are not available in stores. To get your complimentary bottle, text FORCE to 321321. That's F-O-R-C-E to 321321. The following ad contains shocking material. Listener discretion is advised. Is someone in your family playing a dangerous game of Russian roulette? Over 43,000 people die a year from drug overdose. 120 people a day. Five people every hour. One person every 12 minutes. 88,000 people die every year from alcohol abuse. Over 240 people a day. 10 an hour. One person every six minutes. Somebody you know may be next. Learn how to help someone you love get away from the drug alcohol and bad influences with the FMLA people can take a leave of absence from their job and still keep it call quit drugs 321 now at 800-378-3315 800-378-3315 800-378-3315 that's 800-378-3315 Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't think I'm trying not to learn. Since this is the perfect spot to learn, teach me tonight. Starting with the ABC of it, right down to the XYZ of it. Help me solve the mystery of it. And we are back. Your show, CRN Digital Talk Radio, CRNTalk.com. The great Dennis Bono playing us in. Dennis Bono, of course, the great South Point Casino. A fantastic uh, artist and fantastic entertainer. So thank you so much for joining us. Let's get right back to the phones. I want to get as many people on as possible before we hit the top of the hour. And this gentleman is a great guy. This is Brian from Nashville. Brian, sir, how you doing? Hello, guys. How are y'all? Doing We're all right. Thank you. Here, here, you back on the air. Thanks. Well, uh, I don't know if you heard or not, but there is a parody song about you, Uncle Bob. Uh, uh, my phone's about to go dead, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's it's all about you mixed with a song from the 1960s, and it's done very professionally. I think you might have it there on the show. Really? No, I don't think we've yeah. got it. 
We don't have it, do we, dear? I uh, don't think we do. Or what song are you referring to there, Brian? Thank you, sweetheart. Well, John, the voice of son, John. Jim, oh, right? oh, that's correct. Yes, 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 yes. I did receive an email. Brian, thank you so much for bringing that up. I received that email. And I got it right before I went to air, and so I didn't have time to review it and put it into our system. But for, okay. sh for sure, that will well, be... It'll be a classic you can play for many years. Oh, that's... Not, it's that good. Yeah, we will definitely play that on the show next week. I'm going to double-check to write me yourself a note about that. All right. Now, I know people are holding. I'm not going to hold you up, and my phone's about to die. But, Uncle Bob, so glad you're back, and you look really good. I've been watching the show. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank we you, love you, thank buddy. You. Hey, love you, and thanks for watching the show. No, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you so much for reminding me about that, about John the Voice. We did get it. I did get an email right before we went to air, and I'm going to pull that, and I'm going to put that in our system for sure for next week. So let's see who we have next on the line. We're going to. We, got, we have Robin from Las Vegas. Robin, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Good. Well, I just wanted to say hello. We met 46 years ago on the set of Murph the Surf in Miami. Murph the Surf? No kidding. My gosh. 40 how many years ago? Robin, are you still there? No, we lost her. Oh, she no. said 46 years ago. 46 years ago. It looks like we, we lost Robin. Let me see if she's still on. Let me like, lock her in this way. Robin, are you still Hi, there? Hi, Mary. Yeah, you cut out on me for a second. There yeah. you are, Robin. Hi. So 46 years ago, what happened? 46 years ago, we met on the set of Murph the Surf in Miami Beach. Wow, sure. I remember Miami Beach and Murph the Surf. It was a lot of fun. I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you very, very well. Ooh. My name is Robin. Well, I don't know if I'm not allowed to say my last name, but anyhow, you can um, you can let him know who I am. <laughs> okay. Thank you, darling. How have you been? I've been all right. I've had some bad luck recently, but I've recovered from it. I'm on uh, the upscale part of it now. Well, you look fabulous. I, I found you on Twitter, and I was just, like, so excited. I'm going, oh, my God, after many years to get back in touch with you again. It was, like, meant to be. And I have to say, you need to stop looking for women to date. You need to get your butt to Vegas and date me because I'm single, and I'm still madly in love with you. Oh, wow, wow. And you're in Vegas, huh? Yes, I am. All right, here, here listen to the plane flying over. <laughs> we are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fabulous. I think some things in life are meant to be. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be back then, but it was. Um, I think it is now. Okay, I, thank I you. I definitely do. Thank you for. All right, some, all right, baby. All right, and I would love to hear you sing to me again. Your voice, I'll never forget it. Thank you, dear. Thank you for saying uh, that. All right, dear. You have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you for taking my call. Okay, sweetheart. Thanks a lot for the phone call. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There she goes. Robin from Las Vegas. Blast from the past. Very, very nice. That was, uh, that was adorable. We really appreciate that call. Yeah, I appreciate it. Are you kidding me? Murph the Surf, 1975. Starring Robert Conrad, Don Stroud, Donna Mills, Robin Milan. Maybe, maybe that's the Robin. Oh, I have to look into that. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, you guys stick around. Um, wow. I'm a little discombobulated after that one. Let me see where we're going next. Uh, we're going to break real fast. Where's my emails? Uh, we have some c -mails, some more classic c -mails. We really appreciate it. This is from Joyce. I believe this is Joyce from Northwest Indiana. Hi, Robert. Thanks for wearing that. This is a referring to a show a couple weeks ago. Thanks for wearing that purple shirt I sent you for Easter. You've made that shirt look marvelous. You are the best. I love you, Joyce from Northwest Indiana. Hey, Joyce. Thanks, baby girl. I appreciate that. And this is from Lonnie. Lonnie says, Mr. C, happy Thursday to you, and be safe there on your Thursday in good health. Uh, that's from Lonnie. Thanks, Lonnie. Very, very nice, you guys. So stick around while I do some investigating on who Robin was. We'll be back right back right after the break, you guys. Thank you to everybody in Facebook as well. Oh, we're coming up against our last segment. So we'll try to get one more call in in this last segment, and then we'll say adieu. But we will be back every Thursday, you guys, and every episode is available on YouTube. Just search Robert Conrad on YouTube and all, all lots of other great Robert Conrad content on YouTube. Also available uh, this show on podcast, CRN.com slash podcasters. Stick around.
If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing goals. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Horn, and I've had a my pillow for the last two years, and I am never going back. Before that, I had problems sleeping. The pillow would go flat, I would flip flop all night long, and I'd wake up with a sore neck. Today, I set the patented fill inside my pillow just the way I want it to support me where I need it most. Now, I fall asleep faster and I sleep better. My pillow is made in the USA with the 10 year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and there's a 60 day money back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. For a limited time, go to mypillow.com and get a two-pack of MyPillow Premiums for just $69.98. It's only available at MyPillow.com when you use promo code WINNER. That's two premium MyPillows, just $69.98 with promo code WINNER at MyPillow.com. Or call 800-513-3363. If you hurry, they'll ship them to you for free. 800-513-3363 or MyPillow.com, promo code WINNER. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Hi everyone, this is Fred Dreyer telling you about my favorite Italian restaurant. It's Angelo's and Vinci's in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's has the best pasta, the best seafood, the best salad, spaghetti, lasagna, and the most incredible pizza. And the chicken is delicious. Marsala, piccata, cacciatore, parmigiana, and more. For desserts, try our spermoni or our tiramisu, my favorite, flown in fresh from Italy. And the cannolis and the zeppolis are out of this world. Open for lunch and dinner. And don't miss the Sunday champagne brunch. Just $23.95. Are you kidding me? It's all up the road from Disneyland at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's, like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Call 714-879-4022 or visit us online at angeloandvinci's.com. This couldn't happen again This is that once in a lifetime This is a thrill divine What's more This never happened before Oh my goodness gracious sakes love. We are back you guys Your show wrapping things up Thank you so much We had a good time this is always a good time hanging out with our friends and our family and hanging out with the legend Robert Conrad. Yeah, it's fun with you guys. Thanks so much for being a part of your show, calling in and um, making your requests. And uh, it's just been a, it's been a wonderful two hours for me. I hope it's been entertaining for you guys, too. I hope it has. I hope it has. I hope it has. Let's get one more in. Let's talk to Steve over in Michigan. Steve, buddy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing, Steve? Hi, Mr. Conrad. Hi. Um, I was... I was curious, uh, I know now we have, you know, the internet, uh, YouTube, Twitter, you, you know, that's how you have contact with your many, many fans throughout the world. I was curious, um, we all know you were a megastar in the 70s, 80s, 90s, I mean, you were nominated for a Golden Globe, you won a People's Choice Award, I mean, I was, you know, young then, and you were, I mean, as big as any star ever, and it was even more contained because, you know, there were three channels, and... And my question was, um, 
uh, how did you, and what was the best way to stay in contact with your fans then? You probably couldn't even go to a restaurant without being mobbed in the, you know, 70s with Black Sheep Squadron and, and all your success. It's Centennial, amazing. You won the Bronze Wrangler Award for that, Centennial. How, how, what was the best way to stay in touch with your fans back before the Internet? I mean, I, I mean you must have had tons of fan mail. Like I say, you must have been mobbed. I mean, was it, you know, just seeing people on the street? Was it fan mail? Just what was the atmosphere for a megastar in the 70s and 80s as far as, fan, you know, being fan, a... Fan, 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 fan mail. Fan mail? Yeah, okay. they wrote to you and you responded if you wanted to keep them as a part of your career. Did it go oh, through the studio yeah. or did it go through your agent? It went through the studio. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, and the, and the studio would form, would, would, uh, Forward it to wherever you were at the particular time because they wanted to keep you alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were a huge star. I just remember. I mean, every I, I go to school, we'd play Wild Wild West. I mean, you know, every you were like everybody knew Robert Conrad growing up in the, my twenties. I mean, seventies and eighties. Even today, I mean, things are diluted now with so many TV shows and you know so many channels. But in the day, I mean, you were the biggest star I've seen in my lifetime. I mean, everybody loved Robert Conrad and watched your shows. And, and so, yeah, it was just, I, I wrote even as a kid, you know, and, and then we moved. And I, I, yeah, I was, Mom, Dad, we can't move. Robert Conrad might, <laughs> might write me back. So, yeah, you were just such a huge star centennial. I mean, still to this day is about the best thing I've ever seen on TV or film yeah i just i just remember and lived it it was just such so exciting i mean you were just you know and and, and as we speak you're still you know twitter and youtube and it's just the longevity is amazing i don't know anything like it i can't think of anybody you know that's had the longevity i know there are others but it's just amazing to me it's just amazing well <laughs> guess what i'm thinking about doing <laughs> what's that you won't believe this it probably won't happen but I'm thinking about making a comeback. Oh, oh, wow! Yeah, and the, the character, uh, his name is uh, Duke. What the hell is his name? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's we're running out of time there, uh, Steve. That was a great question, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Thank th you, thanks for the question. I appreciate it too. It made me start thinking. Oh wow, the seeds are moving, you guys. Thank you so much to all our friends and family. Real fast before the break, Elaine. Thank you to Val, to Bruce, to Anita, to Donna, to RG, to John, to Ray, uh, to Brian, to Robin, and to Steve, and uh, all our cars we couldn't get through. We got ten seconds, Robert. Okay. Hey, God bless you. I'm happy to be back in your uh, in your lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week, guys, for another edition of your show. Because that was your theme. Are you tired of hearing your favorite talk radio show?